Good morning, Bulldogs. These are your Tuesday announcements. Today is Tuesday, March 7th. Have you ever wanted to see your teachers or your principal get a pie smashed in their face? March 6th, Interact will be selling opportunities at lunch to vote for one of the MU staff to take a pie in the face to raise money for Dayton Children's Medical Center. On March 20th, one student will be chosen from those that voted to be the one to smear pie in a teacher's face who received the most votes. The pie smashing will be on March 23rd and totals will be updated daily. Interact Club will be registering and collecting money from those who will be attending Dance Marathon on March 31st. March 21st is the last day to order and guarantee a shirt for the event. Shirt, for example, will be brought around for students to see. You may register a team for the cornhole tournament and or the spike ball tournament when you sign up to attend Dance Marathon. You must register your team no later than Tuesday, March 28th if you wish to participate in either tournament. Gift cards will be awarded to the winners of each tournament and other prizes will be available for the other events. Happy birthday today to Ginger Ryan, Laura Williams, and McKenna Francis. Have a great day! What's up? It's Meadow with your weather today. Right now it's 38 with a high of 48 and a low of 30. Around dinner time it will be in the 40s and tomorrow it will also be in the 40s. Stay warm and have a good day. What's up? This is your sports report. I'm Blake. This is Nate. And uh, I said this yesterday, but I'll say it again. Uh, congratulations to Peyton Mayfield and Nathan Barker making it to state. Good uh, wrestling. Good job, you guys. Yep. And uh, yesterday, after we finished filming, there was some NFL news that came out. Derek Carr signed with the New Orleans Saints, and Geno Smith was re-signed to the Seattle Seahawks for a three-year, $105 million contract. Ooh, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That's it. See you guys. What's up, Bulldogs? It's your boy Dez, Chubulubukuba Brown, Isaiah O.S. Bell player, and that boy K. Dizzle. And we're here with your guys' facts. The word cereal comes from a Roman goddess of harvest and agriculture, Ceres. And on average, the American eats approximately 160 bowls of cereal a year. The most popular cereal in America is Cheerios. Well, Vicky turns 22. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Caden. And I'm Shrink Cheese. And welcome to This Day in History. In 1530, Alexander Graham Bell patents the telephone. In 1965, police attack civil rights protesters in Selma, Alabama, which would be named Bloody Sunday. In 1987, Mike Tyson becomes the youngest heavyweight boxing champion after defeating James Smith. In 2014, Mr. P-Boy and Sherman released. In 1992, Sailor Moon premiered. In 2012, Billion Dollar Listing New York premiered. In 2009, Power Rangers RPM premiered. Y'all have a great day. Hey Bulldogs, what up? This is Fetty the Funny Guy. It's a joke of the day. What's the quota cereal? Frosted Flakes. Or Frosted Mini Wheats. What's up, Bulldog Nation? Uh, yes, it's Tuesday, and we normally do this on Wednesday, so we may do two this week, but I had to. Today is National Cereal Day. So the question is, what's the goat of cereal? I like all cereal. I don't know if there's a cereal that I don't like. It's kind of like pizza, minus mushrooms. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stick with Frosted Flakes. I loved Frosted Flakes as a kid, and I still like Frosted Flakes. So I'm going to go with Frosted Flakes. Let's see what everybody else says. If I had to pick one, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I had to pick one, Fruity Pebbles. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they're all good. Fruity Pebbles. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Gary Mayer. Rice Krispie Treats. Or not treats, but... Rice Krispies? Yeah. Do you have to, don't you have to put sugar on them? No. Oh, okay. I would have to say my favorite is Cap'n Crunch with Crunch Berries. That's good, too. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I would have to say Captain Crunch. Ooh. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles. Frosted Flakes. Reese's Puffs. Fruity Pebbles. Best cereal of all time, Cookie Crisp. Cinnamon Life. Peanut Butter Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Captain Crunch. The Goat. Honey Nut Cheerios. 
Fruit Loops. Ooh, Fruit Loops. Mine is something peanut. Is it peanut butter Captain Crunch? Yes, that's yes. the thing. Okay. Peanut butter Captain Crunch? Peanut butter Captain Crunch. Lucky Charms. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Popular answer. Oh, I was going with that. Right. Cinnamon <laughs> Toast Crunch. Captain Crunch. Lucky Charms. Life. Ooh. Oh, mm. Cocoa Puffs. Life is good. I do. Like Wheaties. Them. Lucky Charms. Crunch Berries. That's what Graflin said. Fruit Loops. I like a cereal. It's s'mores. It's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch with Cocoa Puffs and marshmallows. Yes. It's the best of all three worlds. Captain Crunch. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Captain Crunch. Count Chocula. I don't eat it very much, but Reese Puff cereal is delicious. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Fruit Loops. Lucky Charms. Yeah. My favorite cereal is Rice, no, uh, Rice Chex, not Rice Krispies, Rice Chex. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Super Sugar Crisp. Frosted Flakes. That was mine. I'm going to go a different direction. Apple Jacks. I think Apple Jacks is fantastic. <laughs> Reese Puffs, but you got to have a scoop of peanut butter and then a scoop of Reese Puffs. Perfect. Go ahead. I don't like cereal. I don't really eat it. Are you from Communist China? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no cereal. If I had to choose something, it'd probably be Lucky Charms because I like the marshmallows.